What's going on guys? As per usual on Wednesdays, we're doing a versus battle today, and today we're doing a very interesting one that I wasn't expecting to make so early. But as a lot of my subscribers already know, I am a massive Dofi fan, okay? He is my far and away favorite character. I'm so sad that he's gone, and I think that he is a lot more powerful than most people give him credit for. I've made many videos about this, and I also made the Dofi vs. Cracker video where I ended up saying that I think Dofi would beat Cracker, and that he is overall stronger than him. So now that the Katakuri fight has at least for now come to an end, and we've seen a lot from him, a lot of people, because of all my talk about Dofi, all the videos I made about him, have been wondering what I think about Dofi vs. Katakuri. And while I would have much preferred for the fight between Luffy and Katakuri to be over before making this video so I have more information on Katakuri, I don't really know when it's going to end now that there's a little break between them if they're even going to finish it all. For all we know, it is over. So, you know, while the Katakuri hype is still alive before it dies down, I'm going to make this Dofi vs. Katakuri video, and it's going to be awesome, okay? So here we go. So since I've already made versus battles on these two, I don't really need to go through all their abilities or anything like that. I just kind of need to gauge what we've seen with them and compare those fights to each other's. The best example of this, quite obviously, is probably Dofi vs. Luffy and Katakuri vs. Luffy. So now what a lot of people have been saying, specifically in my comments, is that Dofi got absolutely destroyed by Gear 4 Luffy and he wasn't able to do anything to him. But not just is that not really the case, I, he, he wasn't able to do so much, like he was mainly kind of getting smacked around while not really doing much damage to Luffy, but for one thing, he was taken completely off guard, okay, like he, he didn't really know what to think when Gear 4 was being shown for the first time. And it's not like it was that long of a battle anywhere where he really got to show what he could do against Gear 4 since it only lasted 10 minutes because Luffy was being a fucking pussy. But more importantly than anything, and something I've said a million times when I've explained that Dofi is definitely stronger than Luffy, is that Dofi had already, like, been exhausted from the shit that was going on all day. He got gamma knifed by law, which is supposed to kill anyone, okay, so there's that. And he, he was fighting law, he was fighting Luffy, he was fighting the entire country. I mean, there's just no way he was anywhere even near his full power. Not to mention the fact that once he used his awakening, it was a pretty even battle. Like, he was probably losing just a slight, slight amount. But it was pretty even, he was able to mainly block or dodge Luffy's attacks, he didn't really do any damage to Luffy, but Luffy didn't do so much to him either once he actually used his awakening, which he could have used at any time. So I would say that Gear 4 Luffy versus Dofi is about a dead even battle, if not like Luffy is 100, Dofi is 99.5, okay? There's barely any difference between the two. And then we have the Katakuri battle, and things when it comes to the Katakuri vs. Luffy are very confusing to me. This guy is supposed to easily be the strongest of the sweet commanders, but honestly sometimes it is hard for me to tell if he's even stronger than Cracker based on what we've seen. Unless Luffy just got magically way more powerful over the whole Cake Island arc, which I guess wouldn't be the first time it happened, but we haven't really seen any power up or anything or some kind of reasoning for that to happen, so it's hard to say. But unless Luffy did become magically powerful over Whole Cake Island, then it seems like Katakuri is not really much better than Cracker. You have to consider the fact that it is pretty much not even arguable that if Luffy did not have Nami helping him against Cracker, there's no way he could have beaten him. On top of that, Katakuri really was just kind of sitting on his ass all day, he's pretty much at full power, and by the time Luffy's actually facing him, he had gone through the most ridiculous adventure of his life, like I have to imagine he would be exhausted, and he is doing at least as good against Katakuri as he was against Cracker, so like, what exactly is going on here? Sure, he's not really hitting Katakuri for the most part, except for like the one shot he got in, but was he really hitting Cracker either? He was just going through his biscuit soldiers one after another. Like, yeah, I get his observation hockey is off the charts, and his armament hockey has been shown to be way stronger than Luffy's as well, but it's not like he's really landing that many hits on Luffy. That big showing of when his armament hockey overpowered Luffy's, that was like the big time we saw him actually do damage to Luffy. And what's really crazy to me, too, is that they seem to be having this pretty evenly matched battle, maybe slightly in Katakuri's favor, 
before he even goes into gear fourth. Like, it's just the weirdest thing. And when he actually does go into gear fourth, it didn't really seem to change anything. He was doing just about as well. To be honest, the whole Luffy vs. Katakuri fight is quite confusing and not a really good indication of anyone's power. But okay, so we've discussed the battles between Luffy and Dofi and Luffy and Katakuri, and we haven't really seen any other battles with Katakuri, and really not so much with Dofi either. I guess he faced Law, but he wiped the fucking floor with Law, so that's not even worth talking about. So, what can we say about Katakuri versus Dofi? So for one thing, I would like to say that I believe that Dofi's Devil Fruit is significantly better than Katakuri's. While Katakuri's is quite strong, we've seen that it has pretty much very similar properties as Rubber. He can't use any gears like Luffy can, but he can do all the extending quite well and even sometimes manipulate his body in even more effective ways than Rubber. But compared to the String Fruit, I don't think it really is even a match. I've said it a million times and I'll say it again, the String Fruit was the number one fruit on my top five Paramecia Devil Fruit list, so... It shouldn't really be that surprising that I think it's stronger, unless you're thinking the mochi fruit is the strongest paramecia in all of One Piece. But really, like, think the differences in these devil fruits, okay? Like, the mochi fruit, what does it really do? I, I mean, he can kind of, as Luffy figured out, move his body in a way to dodge Luffy's attacks, or anyone's attack for that matter. And he can kind of use all the same moves as Luffy, but besides that, there's really not that much. I would say his Awakening is probably slightly better than Luffy's would be, because I don't really know how Luffy's would work. And Katakuri's is mochi, so it kind of has a flowing thing. But first of all, Dofi's Awakening is way better. Dofi's Awakening can do everything that Katakuri's can, okay? It can have like a flowing sea kind of Awakening, as well as be like sharp piercing monstrosity needle things, okay? Flying all over the place. He can really do whatever we want with his awakening as far as we've seen. It's quite versatile. And that's another thing, really. I don't think Katakuri's awakening, at least as far as we've seen, unless maybe it has some special properties, would really be that effective against Dofi because of his ridiculously overpowered devil fruit, which allows him to fly. The only thing we've really seen Katakuri do with his awakening is kind of like flood the area like how he did against Luffy and then eventually he just like piled a ton of mochi on top of him. But that wouldn't work against Dofi because not just is he super fast and agile, but he can fly. Like how is a ground based attack going to be very effective against Dofi? Where, on the other hand, Dofi with his Awakening, like I said, it doesn't even really matter that it's Katakuri since his Awakening is so ridiculously versatile that who really can counter it in any way? But he can just either surround Katakuri in a sea and Katakuri can't fly, he can pierce him, I mean, he can just attack him from so many different angles with his Awakening. The way we've seen Katakuri and definitely Dofi use their awakening is kind of like watching like benders from Avatar The Last Airbender use their bending, okay? They just control their shit as much as they want in any direction, just the most ridiculous forms. It's like so overpowered, but Katakuri can only use like a sea of mochi as far as we've seen where he can't like make piercing shit, okay? I, we don't even know if he can really imbue his hockey into it because how would that work? It's not like a weapon that's not really blunt, it's not really sharp, like Dofi can make his strings pretty much however he wants. All in all, I think Dofi's Awakening alone is just far superior to Katakuri's. But even ignoring the Awakenings, back to just their base Devil Fruits, I kind of got off track when I started talking about their Awakenings, but back to just the regular properties of their Devil Fruits, I mean, again, Katakuri's is pretty much just like Luffy's, it can do kind of a few other decent things, but it's nothing compared to Dofi's Fruit. I mean, Dofi's Fruit, he can use his strings as just like an extension of his own arm, like kind of... When he swings his arm at someone, he has strings on the end of his fingers, and when they make contact with like a mountain or something, it fucking explodes. Because they're imbued with ornament hockey, it has like both the property of being razor sharp and a super blunt object at the same time. It's like, how is that even possible? It's insane. There's also the fact that he is able to regenerate himself. I'm not exactly sure to what extent that is. I don't think it's like as insane as Marco. I think Marco might even be able to like regenerate from lethal wounds. Not 100% sure, but it just seems like based on how the fruit works, that would make sense. 
But yeah, I mean, Katakuri can't do anything nearly as ridiculous as those things. He can't fly, he can't regenerate. He, I mean, his attacks are pretty good, they're like Luffy's, but I don't think they're nearly as insane as Dofi's, especially since Dofi's overheat has been able to hit a tower in Dressrosa all the way from Greenbit. That is multiple miles. So he definitely has range. But yeah, when we're not talking about Devil Fruits, that is pretty much where Dofi's advantages come to an end. I think he might be slightly faster than Katakuri because as far as we've seen, he's like one of the fastest characters in the entire series. But I would say they're definitely close. If not, maybe Katakuri is faster. I don't really know. It's hard to say, especially when you're just reading the manga. But besides that, Katakuri has Dofi beat in, I, I think, pretty much everything. I mean, he's actually significantly bigger than Dofi, which is pretty strange. And I don't mean he's like white beard size. I think the number was he is 16 feet tall. I think 16.9 was the number. Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong. And Dofi, I believe, is exactly 10 feet tall. I think those are correct. So that is a pretty decent advantage. And besides just physical advantages that you're born with, like being way bigger, I mean, have you seen this guy's observation hockey? This man is capable of seeing up to five seconds into the future using straight up observation hockey. That is fucking absurd, okay? Like, I, I don't, I, does anything even more need to be said about that? Like, obviously it's been shown that it really isn't as ridiculous as it sounds being able to see five seconds in the future, but it's still very good. I mean, just as far as observation hockey goes, it's way stronger than anyone else's we've seen so far, except maybe Emperors or something, I don't really know. But then on top of that, like I said earlier, it's been shown that Katakuri's armament hockey is also stronger than Luffy's, and Luffy's armament hockey using his King Kong gun was enough to not just smash through Dofi's spider net, but after breaking through it, it made contact with Dofi's head, which launched him at such incredible speeds into the center of a town in Dressrosa that it made the entire downtown area, pretty much like the entire city, be completely upheavaled. So I would go as far as to say that Luffy has incredibly powerful armament hockey, and Katakuri seems to be significantly stronger. So pretty much, here's how I think the fight would have to go for Dofi to stand a chance. Dofi would have to sit back, flying around, making it very hard for Katakuri to get to him, which I think would be very difficult if he was just flying around, playing very defensively, just using his awakening to take down Katakuri as much as he can, completely rely on his awakening ability to surround him, just attack him nonstop with his needles. It is pretty rare that I say that a Devil Fruit is enough to trump a significantly stronger hockey user, but this is a pretty extreme case because Dofi's fruit is so unbelievably overpowered and its awakening is just as unbelievably overpowered that I think it may very well be possible that he could in fact beat Katakuri using this strategy. I'm not saying that's for sure at all, I don't even know if I would really say Dofi is more likely to win this battle. But he definitely has a possibility of doing it. Just imagine this, okay? He's just sitting in the air, flying around. Katakuri's doing the best he can to close the gap between them, but it is difficult. Like I said, he is flying. That is not an easy thing to deal with. As far as we know, Katakuri isn't like some speed demon or something. Not to mention, he has to deal with the whole fact that the entire area around him is turned into strings, which Dofi can just command as much as he wants. He has full control of these strings. He can do so many things we've seen with them. It's insane. So it's really hard for me to say who would win this battle. If it had to be someone, if I have to pick someone to win this, I'm going to go with Katakuri. I think he would have a very difficult time doing it, but I think he would be able to close that gap. I think he would land some hits, which would do damage similar, maybe even a little bit stronger than Gear Fourth Luffy was hitting Dofi with when he was not awakened yet. And even though Dofi would be able to surround him, it would be very hard for Katakuri to do almost anything, I don't think Katakuri would take much damage because he would either dodge the vast majority of Dofi's attacks, or if he did get hit with him, his armament hockey would be very, very powerful, so it'd be hard for Dofi to do any actual damage to him. But believe me, it is still very possible that Dofi would win this battle. I'm not really sure though. It, it's, it's too hard to say at this point. Let me put it this way, and don't take this to heart because some things could happen, but generally speaking, okay, by the end of Whole Cake Island, if the fight between Katakuri and Luffy does actually finish, if Luffy is able to actually beat Katakuri without any huge power up like Gear 5th or an Awakening or something, okay, anything 
super substantial that he didn't use against Dofi, and he does actually end up beating Katakuri with just what we've seen, then I would say Dofi is probably stronger than Katakuri. He just did not really live up to the hype and what we were expecting from him. But if Katakuri does put down the Luffy, then I mean, yeah, like why would there be any reason for me to say that Dofi is stronger than Katakuri? But it is hard to say if he barely is able to beat Luffy, if he is like on the brink of death right after he beats Luffy, then eh, there might be something to talk about. So until then, that is my opinion on this subject. We will just have to wait and see, and maybe I'll make a new video once we've seen more of Katakuri. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about this video, ideas for future videos, specifically versus battles for all the Wednesday versus battles I do, this person for this person, and also, yeah, just totally normal uh, theory videos, uh, just One Piece related videos, things you'd like to hear my opinion on, discussions I could have. Also, if you're new to the channel, and even if you're not, because I know YouTube is not that good at giving out notifications like this, I have been doing a lot of live streaming lately where I just like play a video game and chat ask me questions, you know, I, I mean, they can be personal, they can be One Piece related, usually they're One Piece related, and I answer the vast majority of them. Sometimes I'm playing a game and it's hard to actually answer, but I, I, I you know, whenever I'm done doing what I'm doing, I scroll up, answer all the questions, so it's a really fun time. I've been doing it a lot lately. If you're not getting any notifications for this and you're wondering why, it's probably because YouTube's stupid and you have to turn on my notifications right next to the subscribe button. There's a little bell. So you click that and you will probably, I believe, know every single time I'm live streaming, you should have a notification go to your phone, to your desktop, wherever most of your YouTube stuff happens. So yeah, uh, with that all being said, I am looking forward to this Friday's video. I think I'm going to make a Naruto video, okay? I know I'm putting off the My Hero video again, but I haven't finished the manga, okay? It's taking some time. But as soon as I'm done with that, I will most certainly do that. Hopefully I'll see some of you guys in stream, and I will talk to you then. If not, I'll talk to you guys on Friday.